If you'd like to see more how-to upholstery videos and learn more tips and tricks, click the subscribe button to keep up to date with our latest videos. Click the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up so we can make more content that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I change the style of these arms on this armchair. As you can see, there's an upholstered panel on top of the arm and I changed them to this. So, much more padding, big pleats on the front. I'm going to show you how to, step by step, how I change these. So you can do it at home if you want to. So first of all, we strip off the old fabric. Here I'm taking off the old cardboard for the outside arm and the staples underneath the arm. This chair is bolted together so the back comes off, the seat comes off and both arms come off. So I do that off camera. Here I am putting a new layer of one inch foam on top of the old foam because obviously they had that style before where it was all, there was a big bit of foam upholstered on later. So what I've done is I've taken it all off, stripped it down and there's one inch foam on there and I've put another one inch on the top plus I've put another block of one and a half inch underneath to pad it out. As you can see here I'm doing the front of the arm. You can see the facing, the shape of the old foam. You can see it there in the yellow. So I'm going over the top of that with the new foam. And as you can see, I'm folding the foam over and stapling it down using my long nose staple gun. As I work it round, you pull the foam round and staple it down. Snip off any excess foam at the end. And that's the foaming done. Then we glue on some Dacron. This gives you a nice soft feel. And then the fabric goes on over the top. So what I'll do is I'll check this in the right place and then I'll put a few temporaries in. One in the middle and then work up towards the end. Now I'm smoothing out all the excess fabric. Trim off any fabric that's not needed afterwards. Here I'm working on the facing, so I'm pulling the fabric up from the arm, getting rid of any excess, stapling as I go, and as I get to the, towards the top, you'll come to a point where you can't just staple anymore. You'll have a fold. So then you put your first pleat in. We have previously done a video on how to do pleats. We'll put the link above. Here is the regulator that I'm using to smooth out the pleats, and to smooth the fabric out. It's a great upholstery tool. You can find these online. But pleats should always be the same length and the same distance between each other. As you're starting to see here, the, the style of the arm is changing. The customer specifically asked for it. Now we're onto the facings. So these are the upholstered faces that go on the front of the arm with piping. So what I do is I cut four equal panels out of wood. Clamp the wood down. It's only very thin wood. It's, I think it's three mil. Because you don't want it too thick. You don't want the facing sticking out. Just 
use a wobbliness. Put them all together. Clamp them all down. Draw around the shape that I want, which I got from the old one. Then I put a few staples in, a few long staples, so they stay together, so they won't move. So even if the clamps do come off, they are fixed together. Now I cut around the shape using a jigsaw. I've put on the facing, putting a few extra staples in to make the space for the pipe in to fit. So it has to fit into the ridge and then I'm drilling the holes, I do apologise about the camera angle here. Drilling holes for the grommets to go in. So they're basically little trees. They also use them on car panels. And they basically go into the wood and it holds the panel in. So you put it, push it into the wood then you put the fabric on, the foam and then the fabric, and then you push it on when it's all done. As you can see, they're on there, the little grey things. They're the grommets. Here I'm putting the padding on the front of the facing. So I'm spraying the front of the facing with upholstery glue, and then I'm putting it on half inch blue foam to get the padding on the front of the facing. And I cut around each facing. So now I'll upholster the facings. I'll push down so the foam goes flat. Then I'll work my way down and around. These can be quite tricky. They're very tricky sometimes. To get them totally clear of all bumpiness. If there is a video or something specific that you'd like us to do upholstery wise, Please leave a comment below, let us know. Here I'm cutting in to the corner where the arm just starts to shape and the roundness starts. Cut off all the excess fabric and then the piping goes on afterwards I have to apologize here I'm not sure if there's a video of me putting the piping on so the facing's gone on and just pushed on then here I'm doing the outside arm so I'm using cardboard strip to put the fabric on then I lay down the cardboard strip on top staple that down so you get a nice clean finish then we put on a lining fabric to sort of strengthen the padding then the fabric goes down cut the old fabric off and this is the finished product once it's all bolted together you see the front of the arm facing pleated different from this style customer was very happy we were happy with the result thanks for watching